Hey, so today I'm going to go through conditional probability. Now, before I go through a question, I just want to you guys to know one thing, okay? Now, for example here, I've got four highlighters in my on my desk, okay? If I remove a highlighter, okay, there are only three highlighters left in the bag, okay? So, for example, right now the probability of a pink highlighter is two out of four. Now, if I take it out, the probability of me getting a highlighter is now going to be one out of three okay so again there were four to begin with if i remove one now the probability of getting a pink is only one out of three so do remember that your probabilities are going to change in this topic okay all right let's get started there are only red and green marbles in a bag six red four green mason picks a random marble he does not put it in the bag he then takes the second one complete the probability tree diagram so altogether, there are 10 red marbles to start off with, 10 marbles altogether to start with. So a red one is going to be 6 out of 10, and a green one is going to be 4 out of 10. Now, if there were 10 to begin with, and he removed one from the bag, there are only 9 left in the bag, okay? So my probabilities are now going to be out of 9, okay? Now, if I take a red one out of the bag... That means there is one less red one. If I had six to begin with, there is now one less red one and there is now five red ones left. If I took a red one out of the bag, there are still the same amount of green ones as I started off with. Four, okay? Remember, five plus four gives you nine. Now, if I take a green one out of the bag, the red ones are not affected. There are still six red ones. If I take a green one out of the bag, it's not four anymore. It becomes three. And if you count, six add three is equal to nine, okay? Work out the probability that Mason takes two marbles of the same colour. Now, there's the probability he could take red and then red. Or there's the probability he could take green and then green. Okay? So we're going to work out each probability. So red and red. Red and red would be red multiplied with red. So 6 over 10 multiplied by 5 over 10. And green times green would be 4 over 10 multiplied by 3 over 9. So 4 over 10 multiplied by 3 over 9. Sorry, that was 6 over 10 multiplied by 5 over 9. I'm going to multiply these out. 6 times 5 is 30. 10 times 9 is 90. Don't simplify it yet, okay? 4 times 3 is 12. 10 times 9 is 90. Okay, now I've got probabilities of reds and greens. I'm going to add it together. So I'm going to do 30 over 90 plus 12 over 90, which is going to add to give me 42 over 90. Okay, now I can simplify the fraction if I wanted to. Both are divisible by 2, so I'm going to be left with 21 over 45, which also simplifies to give me 7 over 15. Okay, so you can keep dividing it until you get the most simplest version. Moving on, let's do the next question. Each day, Paul either wears a black or red tie to work. On Monday, the probability he wears a black tie is 0.6. So straight away, Monday, black tie is 0.6. Probabilities are out of 1, so red tie would be 0 0.4. Now, carrying on. If he wears a black tie on Monday, the probability he wears a black tie on Tuesday is 0 0.35. So black and black is going to be 0 0.35. Again, probabilities add to 1, so 1 take away 0 0.35 is 0 0.65. If he does not wear a black tie on Monday, the probability he wears a black tie on Tuesday is 0 0.68. So if he wears a red one, the probability he wears a black one is on Tuesday is going to be 0 0.68. 1 take away 0 0.68 is 0 0.32, so that's going to be 0 0.32. Now, work out the probability that Paul wears different colour tyres on Monday and Tuesday. Okay, so he could wear, it could be the probability of first black, then red, or it could be the probability of red, then black. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to do black times red, which is 0 0.6 times 0 0.65. And or red then black, which is 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.68. Okay, so we are allowed to calculate for this question. 0 0.6 times 0 0.65 is going to be 0 0.39. And then I'm going to do 0 0.4 multiplied by 0 0.68, which is going to be 0 0.272. Again, I add these together, so 0 0.39 plus 0 0.272, which is going to give me plus 0 0.39, and I'm going to get 0 0.662, okay? 
So the probability that he wears a different colour tie could be black red or red black and the total probability is 0 0.662. Okay, moving on. There are eight counters in a bag, five are red, three are blue. So let's create our probability tree diagram. I'm gonna make a rough sketch. So I've got red, blue, red, blue, red, blue. So all together there are eight counters. Five are red, five out of eight, three out of eight. If I remove one, my probability is now out of seven. So I can just say all my probabilities are now out of seven. If I took a red one out, then there's one less red one. This becomes four. If I took a red one, blues are unaffected. This stays three. If I took a blue one, red's unaffected. That stays five. If I took a blue one, blue is affected. This becomes two. Now, two are taken at random from the bag. Work out the probability that one of each color was taken. So either red and blue or blue and red. Okay, red and blue, let's multiply these. Five over eight multiplied by three over seven is going to give me 15 over 56. Three over eight multiplied by five over seven is going to give me 15 over 56. I'm going to add them both together and I'm going to get 30 over 56, which I can simplify to give me 15 over 28. Okay, so the probability that I take a count of each colour is going to be 15 over 28. Next question, there are 10 counters in a bag, 5 are red, 3 are blue and 2 are green. Billy takes 2 counters, work out the probability that she takes the same colour. So altogether there are 10. Now an easier way without drawing a probability tree diagram for this one, the probability she takes red and then red or the probability she takes blue and then blue, or the probability she takes green and then green. So first of all, the probability she takes a red one is going to be 5 out of 10. If a red one is removed from the bag, it becomes 4 out of 9. Blue one, we start off with 3 out of 10. If I take a blue one out of the bag, I'm left with 2 out of 9. Green, we start off with 2 out of 10. If I remove a green one, I'm left with 1 out of 9. Okay? So this one's pretty straightforward because it's the same colour. I don't really need a tree diagram for this. Multiply these out, I get 20 over 90, 6 over 90, and 2 over 90. I'm going to add them. 20 plus 6 plus 2 over 90 is going to give me 28 over 90. Divide them both by 2, I'm left with 14 over 45. So the probability that she takes the same colour is 14 over 45. Okay? Last question. Here are seven cards. Helen takes a random card. She does not replace the card. She then takes another card. Calculate the probability they have the same number on them. So they could be one and one. They could be two and two. Or they could be three and three. Okay? So there are seven cards. The probability she takes one of them is going to be one out of seven. I mean two out of seven. Sorry. Two out of seven. There's two one cards out of seven. Now, if I take a 1 out, there is only 1 left, and there's 6 cards left, so 1 out of 6. So you're going to do 2 out of 7 multiplied by 1 out of 6, which is 2 out of 42. Now, probabilities of 2. There are 2 of them, so again, it's going to be 2 out of 7. If I remove 1, there is 1 left out of 6. So times 1 out of 6, which is again 2 over 42. Now, the probability she takes 2 threes. There are 3 threes, so it's going to be 3 out of 7 multiplied by if i remove one there is now two out of six so times two out of six that's going to give me six over 42 so two over 42 plus two over 42 plus six over 42 is going to add to give me 10 over 42 which i can simplify to give me five over 21 okay calculate the probability that the number on the second card is bigger than the number on the first card so she could do probability of 1 and then 2 or probability she takes 1 and then 3. So the second the card on the second the number on the second card has to be bigger than the number on the first card. So I can't do 2 and 1, okay? I can't I can do 2 and 3, so probability of 2 and 3. I can't do 3 and 1, I can't do 3 and 2, okay? Cuz the second card has to have a bigger number. Now the probability I take 1 the first time is going to be 2 out of 7. Now if I remove 1 the probability I take a 2 is 2 out of 6. So 2 out of 7 times 2 out of 6. The probability I take 1 the first time around is 1, 2 out of 7. Now if I take get rid of this 1, the probability I take a 3 is going to be 3 out of 6. The 
four ways here I take two the first time round is two out of seven. If I get rid of a two, then the probability I take a three is going to be three out of six. Let's multiply these out. Four out of 42. Six out of 42. Six out of 42. I'm going to add these together. So four plus six plus six over 42 is equal to 16 out of 42, which simplifies to give me eight over 21 as my final answer. Okay, thank you.